in this lecture, we will be introducing ourselves to the SPSS interface. When you open SPSS for the first time, the SPSS data editor window opens. However, a smaller dialog box is superimposed on the data editor. The dialog box used to be called the SPSS for Windows dialog box in version 17 and below. However, in version 18 and 19, it was labeled PASW statistics. In version 20 and above, it is called IBM SPSS statistics, as you can see here. This dialog box contains a series of commands to the most common tasks that you may want to initiate when you open SPSS. If this is your first time in SPSS, you will probably want to enter data. You do this by going to the new files section. If you want to open a file you have been working on, you go to the recent files section. This section contains a list of the most recent files that you have been working on, as we can see here. If you want to open a file that is not on the list, then you should click on the open another file option. It will take you to the open dialog box where you can browse for the file on your computer as shown. Let's close this now. If in future you prefer to go straight to the data editor window whenever you open SPSS, click on the check box. Don't show this dialog in the future. And the Welcome to IBM SPSS Statistics dialog box will not come up again. Instead, you will be directed to the data editor window whenever you open SPSS. To begin this tutorial, select Type in Data. This takes you to the data editor window. This is the data editor window. This window displays the contents of the data file. Again, it opens automatically when SPSS starts, especially when you have clicked the Do Not Show the Welcome to IBM SPSS Statistics dialog box. The data window has two views. The data view, and this is the window that opens when you start SPSS. It is also where you type in data. The second is the variable view, where you define variable attributes. You can switch between the two views by clicking the appropriate tab on the tax bar. Data view, variable view, data view, variable view. Just like other Windows program, SPSS has menus. The menus in SPSS are similar to the menus in other Microsoft Windows program. So if you are familiar with other Windows programs, such as the Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, you should be able to recognize or guess at some of the commands in the menu options. Most tasks within SPSS can be done using menu selections. All menus can be accessed by using the menu bar. This is the menu bar. Some menus are common to all SPSS windows, while others are unique to specific windows. For example, the menus File and App are common to all SPSS windows, while Data is unique to the Data Editor window. You open a menu by selecting it. You can then choose an item from it. Often in SPSS, choosing an item causes a dialog box to come up. The toolbar is immediately below the menu bar. The toolbar contains the icons of the most commonly used menu commands. For example, if you want to open, you don't have to go to File, Open. You can just click on the Open icon. If you've made a mistake, you can undo the mistake by clicking on this. And then if you want to redo it again, in other words, you realize that the mistake was not a mistake, then you can click on the redo icon. The same things, of course, can be get by going to the menu bar and clicking on edit, undo, and redo. But like I said, the toolbar contains the 
most commonly used icons in SPSS. So it saves you a bit of time. Now let's see what each of the menu item does by going through them one by one. The file menu is used to create a new file, open an existing SPSS file, or import data from Excel and other spreadsheet programs. It is also used to save or to print. The edit menu is used to cut and to copy and paste selected data, table, charts, or text. You may also use it to reverse your last action if you wish by clicking the undo option. Use the view menu to turn toolbars, status bar, and grid lines on and off. When you want to carry out any analysis, the commands are all listed under the analyze menu. You use the graph menu item to generate graphs, and these include bar graphs, histograms, pie charts, etc. The utility menu displays information about the variables in your data. You can also use it to group variables into sets. Use the window menu to switch between SPSS windows. For example, if you have opened an output and a data file, you can switch between any of these files by clicking on the window menu and selecting the program from the list. Currently, untitled IBM iSpSS Statistics Data Editor is open because it has a check mark next to it. You can open the output file by clicking on it. And as you can see, the output window is now topmost. Let's go back to the data window by clicking on window and the data and we are back in the data window. The app menu is similar to the app menu in other Windows program. You may use it to learn more about SPSS. The data menu is specific to the data editor window. You can see it in any other SPSS windows. Use the data menu to make changes to your data such as merging, splitting, sorting, and selecting variables. You use transform to make changes to variables. Existing variables can be modified and new variables can be computed with this menu item. For example, you can compute a new variable or you can recode an existing variable into another variable. You can create dummy variables and of course you can manipulate date and time variables using the date and time wizards. Sure. From the beginning of this lecture, we have been talking about data editor window. Another form of window in SPSS is the output window. Basically, the output window contains the results of your analysis. Unlike Microsoft Excel, in which the results of your analysis are presented on the spreadsheet. In SPSS, the results of your analysis are presented on a separate file, and this is called output file. You save the two separately. Both data editor and output windows are opened by default whenever you open SPSS. However, there is another window that you should be familiar with but it is not opened by default. This is the syntax window. There are two ways by which you can open the syntax window. The easiest way is by pasting the results of your analysis rather than clicking OK in your dialog boxes. For example, in this frequency dialog box, I want to find out the frequency of the variable XX. Rather than click OK, that would have given me the result in an output window, I will click Paste. And this will paste the syntax of the analysis I just carried out into the syntax editor. I can therefore save this syntax for future use, as I'm going to demonstrate later. Once we have pasted the command in the syntax to see the output, just click on run selection or run all and the result should be in the output file as we are going to see the result of the data analysis 
is now on the output and here we can see that the frequency of xx is right there in the output window we have come to the end of this lecture in this lecture we have gone through the graphic user interface of SPSS data editor in addition we have gone through the menus of the SPSS data editor window and we have also been introduced to two other types of windows in SPSS namely the output window and the syntax window thank you I am Oluwadi Akendi, a professor of surgery at the Ekiti State University at Ekiti. I have been teaching SPSS in healthcare research since 2004, both in Nigeria and in South Africa. I am also the author of Getting to Know SPSS, the best-selling book on SPSS in Nigeria. Apart from SPSS, the book also has a supplementary chapter on how to conduct online literature search as well as one chapter each on Zotero and EndNote reference managers. Finally, I am also the CEO of POSC Educational Consult, which specializes in organizing training, statistical software, and health education. Please visit my website for copies of my lectures and other information. Just scan the QR code with your phone camera. Check it out for more information on my book. The website also contains many downloadable PDF copies of my lectures in anatomy and orthopedics. Finally, you'll come across assorted information on medical practice in Nigeria on the website. For more videos on SPSS statistics, anatomy, orthopedics, and traumatology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by scanning the QR code with your phone camera. Thank you for your time and attention. As they say in my language, Eshim.